Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I said that the club's called Satan's Hollow. I wasn't bottom shaming. Oh, hello, and welcome to Chewing the Cud. What have you got for us this week in the show, Bisley? Well, Mike, I've got some information about a new presenter on a new popular television programme. What was with the obsessive thigh rubbing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just being sexy. Today. That's sexy. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. Concerned. Um, but on screen now, you can find all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media, where you can follow us, the Could.tv for our website, and on YouTube and podcast services. Look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have commented on any of our social media posts slide across the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> Worms. People need them. Have you got them? You want them. <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> How do you feel about worms? D well, the little depends where they are. Well, bum worms not, not, never go. Not that kind of worms, as in actual earthworms. Well, they are something that is, is necessary for the, the ecosystem of the um, planet. I've never been out with one, so I don't know. struggle for you, that <laughs> way, wasn't it? I've never been out with one, so I don't know what their personality is like. I mean, you can always cut them in half and then they grow back again. They don't. Do they not? No, if you cut a worm in half, you end up with two halves. Two dead of, worms. No, no, one dead worm. In two halves. In two halves, yeah. Mm. So don't cut your worms in half, people. Um, but this is a story about Beijing in China. Okay. Okay. Um, where it started to, well, basically rain worms. Oh. Is it, is it a, is it a, is it a, well, they're, they're, they're big. Yeah, they're big worms. It's raining worms. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, apparently it just started raining worms one day. And people, people say it's think worms apocalypse. fell from the sky, but not everyone's convinced. Well, there's no. worms all over the car. What? There what? are worms all over the car, but just all over the cars. Oh. So if you on the pictures, there's a there car in the no background worms. that's got no worms on it. No. Right, and there's no worms on the ground. No. So people are saying it's a bit photoshoppy. Oh, okay. Right, because the worms all seem to be in a very similar position, and on both cars, it looks a bit like it could have just been. Put there's no, there's no actual footage. There is footage. Of said worms but falling you, from you the can sky. Fake, you can fake things in video. Had you? Yeah. Well, have I not shown you those videos of me and Chris Hemsworth? Yeah. Um. 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 <laughs> It's well, just the stuff happens. Worms. Nature stuff is, happens. A, is a strange thing, a strange <laughs> mistress. <laughs> so, so there's been history of things like fish falling from the sky. Yes. Right, and frogs and things. But that's because when the, the water's been scooped up by a, a what's it called? By Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> can't, I can't do that accent. Um, but like thunderstorms and things, when there's a, a lot of wind, it can suck up. Suck up the, the creatures, the, the creatures of, the water. of the water. Yes. <laughs> And they just <laughs> deposit them. And they just they just drop off afterwards. Oh, okay. Are but they yeah. still alive? What? The worms. Oh, just uh, the yeah. fish. Fish and the the, no. the frogs. No. No, they're dead. Oh. Because they've they've been in the air, and oh. fish are renowned for not <laughs> doing well in air. Yeah. It's like fish are <laughs> very wet based animals. So what did they do with all these worms then? Eh? Chopped them up and made them into a nice curry. Oh, nice. No, they just. Got rid of just them. swept them off and swept got them about, like, oh. about the day, but we still not, we still don't know whether it's a true whether or it's not. true or not now. Mm. But yeah, that's 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 all. It's just a little perhaps bit. the ones that landed on the ground squiggled away really quickly. Squiggled away. Well, as those on the car, I would imagine that a worm would stick to metal because they're a little bit slimy and they can't move off. Whereas if they're on the floor, then they can just like whatever worms do, it's crawl, wiggle. I don't really care that much I don't know. about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, how do you sleep at night? I mean, with the crimes that you commit on a daily basis, rather than once I've pulled the lid down on my coffin, then <laughs> then I'm say fine. Something very different <laughs> with when I've pulled the <laughs> high. Like, okay. Uh. And I'm, uh, yeah, I I I I did go through a, a period of insomnia. Omnia. Insomnia. Omnia. Yeah. That's when I couldn't get to sleep. I just ate things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, nom 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 yes. nom. Yeah. yeah. But normally I'm, 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 yes. Yeah. Well, a scientist has shared a great way of helping you drop off. Is it a wank? It involves your wrist. Okay. Right. Oh, is it pressure points? It's kind of pressure points, yeah, yeah. So it's about rubbing your wrist and giving you a massage like that. Yeah, I, I try, yeah. it doesn't work. What do you mean it doesn't work? 
It's bollocks. <laughs> it does. It doesn't. Is that because you were off your face on a minute at the time? No. No, no okay. I, I... Three o'clock in the morning when you're led there... You've not said there, I don't take <laughs> You've just gone, no, I, no, I no. I didn't want to reference it. Okay. I, I have... Um, Three o'clock in the morning when you sort of can't get to sleep and you're like uh -huh. on YouTube and you see this kind of stuff and you're like, like they're going, you're all still awake. Now I've just got a sore point on my hand <laughs> where I've like rubbed it too much. I just have a wank like everybody else. Yeah. It's a lot of dust to clear up. There is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's bollocks. You think, oh. Yeah, it doesn't work. I've been debunked. <laughs> well, it might not work for you. I've not tried it. I've not tried it. it. I, I'm a two minute sleeper. Oh. So I can, as in, my head on the pillow, I'm asleep, and you're asleep within in two, two minutes. minutes. Within two minutes. That's weird. Anywhere as well. I can fall asleep anywhere I want to. Okay. It's great. I'm not a heavy sleeper, so I can wake up yeah. really easily. So, you know, get that idea out of mind. I do believe that things like Chinese pressure points and mm -hmm. acupuncture points do are actually a real thing. Uh-huh. That didn't work for me. Didn't work for you. No. Maybe so, you're but just it could doing work it wrong. somebody else. Maybe you're just doing it wrong. Possibly. And if you're doing something wrong with your wrist at night in bed, uh, why not share pictures with us? We're at The Could TV on social media. And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, how do I put this delicately? Um, when you're alone, mm -hmm. and, and you're having some alone time, mm -hmm. do you use apparatus? Like a winch? Uh, like, I don't know, a, a, a flashlights and things. No, I do not have any of those. You don't have any of that sort They're of... They're very expensive. You get them off Wish, can't you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to buy anything like that off Wish. Why not? Rip your bell in right off. <laughs> well, maybe that's what people are into. Quite possibly. Yeah. Um, well, this is a discovery that's happened um, of an item. An item? An ancient item. An ancient dilly, is it? It is the world's first known sex toy. Oh, how lovely. That's it. There you go. There it is. Right. Um, you can see it's got a, it's got a, a, the right shape. Which end goes in? Not the fat end. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you're not. Ten sixty two. They've even put like the year on it, haven't they? <laughs> when they made it. <laughs> Item ten sixty two. Oh. Um, but look, they've even carved a little bell ending. They have, yeah. I would feel that looks more like is it like it is. Uh, um, have a um, Yes. <laughs> it looks like it was circumcised. Yes. Penis. Yes. Mm, did they um, do that back then? Did yeah, ancient Roman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, where did they, they find this? Whistle and they go. Was it, was it under your bed? Did they find it? Were they, the world's oldest still under my bed. Yeah. No. In my bedside cabinet. In your yes. bedside cabinet. Um, you, so you. Only 10 centimetres long. Okay. It's not very big at all. Well, how old is it? It's Roman, so it's well, many, many, many years. Mm. Humans were smaller back then, weren't they? We've grown how since big, those how times. How big do you think 10 centimetres is, Lee? About that big. Yeah, I didn't think you were right. Go smaller. It's 10 centimetres. No. no, that's not, that's about, that's, that's not 10 centimetres. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six. 10 centimetres is what absolute f are you doing? 10 centimetres is like that big. So then if you go one, <laughs> two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's quite big. It's not ten centimetres. What? <laughs> Why is ten cent? Well, how big is ten centimetres then? Closer. It's about three and a half, four inches. Well, you know, that, yeah, because people were smaller. People have so smaller bones. So you're talking of structures. like that. Yeah. But as humans have, have, have evolved, they've got bigger. So that, that's a... That's a, a Tiny penis. Yeah, but if you think in proportion to the to the person, <laughs> you're going from the surprise to the ridiculous. That to that. <laughs> I mean, they're only about that. They were only about that big. <laughs> oh, the people, not yeah. the penises. <laughs> but then if the penis is about that big, then that's just fine. No, I was around at the time. I can't believe it. Um, <laughs> you think I must have thought you were Godzilla? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, anyway, did, where did it? So, was it? I mean, it's old, so it looks like it's well used. But how <laughs> could they? They found secretions on it. Oh, uh, did they? <laughs> it's two thousand and odd years Ancient old. Ancient secretions. <laughs> it's like, what's, what's this? Well, oh, it smells a bit like lube. Jurassic Park. Amber from the from the thing. Uh -huh. Dinosaurs. 
creations on an old dildo. Humans from back in the day. Tiny humans. <laughs> Tiny humans that you can fit in the palm of your hand. <laughs> They're getting smaller. <laughs> yeah. With their tiny little dildos. So yeah. Well. So, but that's all from the bus this week. That's marvellous. Tiny humans with tiny penises. <laughs> well, you're very welcome, Lee. Stick around, because coming up next we have Lee and the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Lee. Great bitch bake off. GBBO. GBBO. It seems to be a bit of a revolving door of, of presenters since it moved to Channel 4. Shite. Well, we had also we had Sandy Toxvic and yeah. Noel Fielding. Uh -huh. And then we had then Sandy Toxvic went bye bye. And then we had um Noel Fielding. Who is who was always there? Um, he came back again, okay. and um, and they had George Lucas. No, not George Lucas, who makes the Star Wars films. <laughs> he didn't. He wanted to do something different. It was Matt Lucas. He went join. Anyway, Matt Lucas is going now. Probably. Whoa, whoa, whoa. what's going to on? To go here? in to do Star Wars. I don't know. Star anyway, Wars. Yeah, George Lucas, Matt Lucas. Okay. Could be related. Who knows? Anyway, and that's all I'm not talking about. Anyway, Matt Lucas has left. Great okay. British Bake Off. He's gone. I don't want to do it no more. I'm going. So they have replaced, now I'm very excited about this because I do like this person. So it's been announced that Alison Hammond is going to be replacing Matt Lucas oh. as the host. Oh, there she is going, hello. There she is. So yeah, she, they've announced that she's going to be replacing and being the new host, co-host. With? With um, Noel Fielding. So he's still staying there. Because he can't get any other work. Because he goes, well, you don't know. Um, so yeah, so she's going to be joining on the next series, which I think they probably will be filming Kind of around now time, possibly a little bit later on in the year as it gets a bit warmer. Um, so it's going to start just after um, April. Oh, okay. You know more than me. So she put a. a I, I may or may not know somebody that's going on at this show. Oh, is it you? You going on to make some flapjacks? I can bake. I'm not going on the Great British Bake Off. Oh, okay. I may or may not know someone that's going on to it. Don't tease if you're not going to come out with a full story. I can't tell you who it is. Oh, rubbish. Anyway, she put a video saying, really happy to be joining the show, really excited, absolutely thrilled. Um, it's official, it's happening, the Great British Bake Off, let's have it, the cake that is so excited. Um, there's a picture of her, kind of made like a cake with all the um, presenters. Um, thing, thing that I just, well, when you see the picture, you'll know why I'm doing that, because they're kind of like all stood up. Oh, okay. Run a cake. Um, she has been on the show herself. So in 2020, she, they know how they do the Stand Up for Cancer mm -hmm. Bake Off special. She was on it in 2020, and apparently Paul Hollywood praised her biscuits on that occasion. That's not a euphemism for anything other than biscuits that you eat. Um, but um, he said her decoration skills were those of a five-year-old. Oh, okay. It's a bit offensive, isn't it, really? A little um, bit. But... So, yeah, they're all really, really excited. She's, uh, she may not be a baker, they say, but as someone who brings an infectious warmth and humour into the tent, um, we can't wait for this year's bakers to meet her and Noel. I think it'd be fab. Oh, look, they made a little version of her oh. Oh, on, a, on a cake. She's lost weight. She has. Not massive. Not massive. Not huge. She's, she's, not, she's not become a stick. So but she... I think sometimes hair can... No, can... She, she's lost weight. She looks good. She's, I mean, she's lovely. Yeah. And whereas the Noel and... Matt didn't really eat the cakes. She will. <laughs> She's like, she'll be like, oh, I'll try that. Yeah. Um, so good for her. Hooray for Alison. You know, I think where, back in the day, she kind of was on Big Brother for like five minutes, mm -hmm. got, got evicted, and now she's got this um, amazing career. Good yeah. for her. But then you've got other people that have done that, haven't you? Like, um... Yeah, let's go. Okay. Anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Craig, he, he, he's on QVC selling stuff now. Don't want to buy my things. Calm stings. down. Cat. Well, that was offensive. <laughs> that was offensive. Um, anyway, let's go on to the next bit of showbiz. Yes, let's. It's not cat. Well, in King's coronation, it's coming soon. It King is. Charles is going to be coroned. <laughs> Crowned. Crowned, yeah. yes. But they're having a bit of a problem because they're having a bit of a do, like you would. A bit of a do. bit of a do. Of a do. He... Some volivants. There he is there when he, is. he was in the king. Sad. He's going, that's mine. When well, can I not, have it? That was pre. 
When was that? That was when he opened Parliament for Ermadge uh, last year. Ermadge? Ermadge. Okay. Ermadge, rest in peace. R.I.P., yeah. 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 Um, um, well, for comedy purposes, I just thought that was funny. Oh, okay. Like, sat there going, oh, I want my crown. Where well, is he it? did want his crown at that point. Well, he did. But he's got it, he's got it now, so all good things come to us away. So the problem is, is that all the people that they're approaching to kind of be in the concert mm -hmm. are saying no. Oh. So they've asked the Spice Girls. Okay. They've said no. They've asked Elton John, he's saying no. Right. They've asked Harry Styles, he's saying no. They all say no. And um, <laughs> so basically on the May the 6th, they're kind of struggling to get people to, to do it. perform. Well, do you want to? The pay, right? Mm, yeah. These are the people that have said no. We say no, we say no, we say no. We're far, far too busy. There are some people that have confirmed. Okay. So um, take that. Just three of them. Now they thought that because it's like the hundredth anniversary of Take That being born or something like that, all five of them would have come. But but no, it's just the three of them. Andrew Lloyd Webber. Ooh, that's not a face you want to wake up to. It's not, it? but apparently he's got a massive. Okay. And um, Kylie and Danny, fresh. From I thought that was Danny and Celeste. Celeste. You remember Daddy and Celeste? Daphne and Celeste. Daphne and Celeste. Yeah. Um, so, so they're well. I don't think they've definitely confirmed, but they're rumoured okay. to to have kind of like said yes or do. That so organisers they're kind of getting a bit panicky. So they're thinking of perhaps you know bunging Ollie Mers on as a, as a as a backup with his um, with his thighs. With his thighs. Yeah, see, Ollie Mers got massive thighs. No, I've not, never, yeah. no. Elton John apparently was top of Charles's lists, but due to his European tour, he can't go. What's funny about... <laughs> Elton John being a top, that's funny. Oh, okay. Um, he, he's in Germany on the Friday, so he can't go to Windsor. Um, it's, it's like an hour on the plane. It's just an excuse. I know, it's yeah. just an excuse. Like, Harry oh, Styles, come, why, he's, he's, the, he's touring and he, he's unable to get key band members together to to be there at the time. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, I'm busy. Um, that's what they're saying. So, mm, he's not the Queen, is he? He doesn't have... You're he, right, he's not he, the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> that was his mum. <laughs> he doesn't have the same affection, I don't think. Apparently, and, uh, you know, Lionel Richie's going to do it. All right. Yeah. I, it's not something that I'm, I'm excited about. Are you? You're getting a day off, aren't you? Are we getting a day off? Yeah, getting oh, a day off. Great one. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Thanks, his madge. Thanks, his madge. Madge? Yeah. Do we, is, that not, is that not the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. Majesty is number one. Then you've got um, Royal Highnesses. Then you've got Highnesses. Highnesses. Yeah. High Nazis. Anyway, yeah. something that's a little bit more closer to the homosexual community's heart is, is Eurovision. And our entry has been announced for, for this year, for 2023. Mm -hmm. A couple of months ago, and they have announced... So we've not gone through that whole kind of rigmarole of voting for different people and songs and that's a nice one. No, it's not. So they've just gone, right, this is the person that's doing it. So... Um, we can't win. Well, you don't know. May Muller. May Muller Rice is what I call her. May Muller Corner. May Muller Corner um, has been announced as, as our representative. And her song is called I Wrote a Song. Mm -hmm. I did write a song, which actually is quite good. It's a decent It's song, quite yeah, a bop. Which means it won't do very well. But, but we didn't think we were going to do very well last year. No, we with, did. With old Sam. Space man. Well, that's because we went, oh, you've been on YouTube. You're popular on the internet. Let's pop you on. Well, so, so is she with yeah, the youth. With the youth. So she's she's be apparently she's better she's known for songs as Better Days, and supporting Little Mix on tour um, in 2019. She has also racked up millions of viewers, millions, Mike, on YouTube, and 5.5 million monthly listeners on Spotify. That's a huge amount of money. Yeah, you know? at least seventh. Mm, but she's also had a hit in America. So yeah. Better Days was was in the top ten in America. They, they're not allowed to vote in America for you. I know, Eurovision. but she's like it's she's Eurovision, a Eurovision and Australia. Sorry. <sighs> so it was written by Brit-nominated songwriter Louis Thompson, who has worked with David Guetta. Quite a dishy, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. What's comfortable? Um, and Karen Poole, who you may or may not remember from being part of Alicia's Attic back in the sort of like early oh. noughties. I liked Alicia's Attic. She's written loads of hit songs for like Kylie and Lily Allen. It's very exciting. Mm. So in a statement, um, 
Mullafruit Corner has said, I'm so excited to, be, to participate in Eurovision this year and represent the UK. I've loved watching Eurovision all my life. She's only 20. That's not a life. That's, that's a segment. Um, I'm twice her age. <laughs> so to compete in such a massive music competition is simply brilliant. I'm a huge fan of so many of the artists that have found success at Eurovision. Katrina and the Waves. Cliff Richard. Cliff. Lulu. Lulu. Bucks Fizz. Uh-huh. Cutting, cutting edge. Abba. Mm. So well, she's, well, she kind of brought you from Abba to main skin. So. I like main skin. You like the lead singer, that's what you like. I also like the songs. Do you? Yeah. Do they have any? Yeah. Mm. The, one, the ones about want to just do lots of rude things to you okay. in the bedroom. So she says, Sam Ryder was so amazing last year and proved that the UK can be back on the left-hand side of the leaderboard. I wrote this song a few months ago when I was going through a hard time. Well, she didn't write herself. She wrote with somebody else. I wanted to feel empowered. So, um, yeah, big up the UK massive. At your vision. <laughs> Pick up the UK massive. I think we might have a good chance. The only thing is that we won't want to we wouldn't want to win and do it two years on the track. It's very expensive. Mm -hmm. Very expensive. Did you try and get tickets? On the computer? Did I try and get tickets or did I get tickets? Have you got tickets? Well, thanks for that, Lee. Stick around because coming up next we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play Faster Hind, and this is for our very own human millipede. It's off your pop. I don't understand human millipede. Well, I was going to say human centipede. Oh. Which is where you, you someone eats poos in your mouth and then. Well, I thought I was a bit. So I said millipede. Just shut. Hush, I'm going. Game of the Week. So you should have an array of questions for me, then, Lee. I do. I have a, I have one, two, three, four, five um, categories. Categories. Mm. Do I just say? Do I just tell you what they you are? Just tell me. You just tell me what I'm answering. Just um, pick one. Oh, I just choose one myself, or do you yeah, choose them? You can choose one. I'm, I'm giving you. Um, what's the word? Carte blanche. Oh, I shall go for sports, sports and pastimes then. Okay, you're. A d okay. I think you may get this one though. Oh, okay. Ray Reardon won his last world championship in 1978, but in which sport? Belching. That's not a sport. It is if you're doing it right. <laughs> um, what was his name? Ray Reardon. Bobsledding. God, no, snooker. Right, have you ever seen the movie Cool Runnings? Yes. What's that movie about? Bobsledding, but well, isn't it? Right, what team was that? It was bobsledding. The Jamaican. Right, okay, so it's not that weird that I thought somebody called Ray was bobsledder. Let's go for arts and music next. All right. Okay, whose debut, Diamond Life, nearly topped the UK charts in 1984? Madonna. Sorry, you went then too early. It is Sade. Sade. Chardonnay? So why? Sade. You know, you know who Sade is, don't you? Sadie. You know who she is. We, we air pulled back into a bun. What Ooh, year was that? Out? What year was that, sorry, Lee? 1984. When was that born? I don't know. Like the year before. Mm, well, it was one. So, still here with your ears. Um, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Science and invention. Because this is this is your this is your topic. Is it? Okay. What scientific unit of measurement does the symbol HZ represent? This is this a, a man walking on in the video behind me. Who oh, is yes? Has he got the answer? I'm going to say Hertz. You would be correct. Yay! Well done, you. Okay, entertainment and celebrity. Entertainment. What was the name of the celebrity competition inspi inspired by the 2014 Winter Olympics and hosted by Davina McCall? Hunger Games. <laughs> yeah. you know? It had a couple of series on Channel 4. 
people did things. Did oh, you... is that the one where Dean Cain broke his leg? I don't know, I didn't watch it. There was one where, because Dean Cain broke his leg and it made me smile. No, we, we don't have an answer, do we not? Um, you do it quite a lot. The slope of it. No. It was the jump. I wasn't far off the slope of it. No, jump. well, it wasn't the answer. No. Um, history and religion. Okay. Slavery was abolished in the United States by the adoption of which amendment to the Constitution? The third. Oh, you're just ten out. It's the thirteenth. Oh, I'm not American, am I? Well, you know, it's just common knowledge, but whatever. Um, let's go back to sports and pastimes. Okay. Which Australian bowler was named as one of the five wisdom cricketers of the century in 2000? <laughs> when you were saying that, then I thought you were saying bowling. Something very different. Mm. I stopped listening. Because um, I thought you said bowling, so... Um... Which Australian bowler was named as one of the five wisdom cricketers of the century in 2000? He's gone now. He's gone to the great cricket pitch in the sky. Timmy Mallet. Timmy Mallet? Yeah. No, it was Shane Warne. Shane Warne dead? Yeah. When did he die? He died... I want to say, like... I want to say, like, of, um, like, things. No, not how, when. Oh, when. I think he died last year or the year before. Okay. You know, he is dead. Oh, I'm to Google it, but I think he is. Um, okay. Let's go for arts and music. Which famous battle did ABBA top the charts with in 1974? Oi. Put your phone down. I'm Googling Shane Ward. Warn. Oh, you can see he's not dead. W-A-R-N-E. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 4th of March 2022. You were thinking about him from Coronation Street, weren't you? I was thinking about yeah. him from Coronation Street. I like went, Shane Ward? No, I've seen him. Um, Waterloo. Which famous battle did Abbott... Waterloo. Yes. You'd got that right. You, you would have been drummed out of the gay club if you hadn't have got that right. I uh, remember, because Sharon West asked that question a while ago, um, and I didn't get it right. Oh. And um, after the show, she beat me. But with a stick? Uh, with a sledgehammer. Oh, nice. Um, entertainment and celebrity. Which girl group announced their second breakup following their final tour date in March 2013? And it's not the one you might think it is, because it wasn't them. It wasn't them? Oh, right, okay. No, no, no. Girls Aloud. <gasps> you got it right. Girls Aloud. Have you answered that question before? No, um, I went to their penultimate show. Oh. In Manchester for Chai. Did you? Yes. And then they, they announced the day, after, the day after that that night would be their final one. I'm like, oh my god. Twa babes, bye. Um, what instrument, this is science and invention, what instrument is used for listening to the heart and lungs? The heart and lungs? No. The ear, when you're resting on their chest and your eyes. No. Not in a um, perv way, but if you were... Uh, That's not pervy. For once, I was actually being quite sweet and romantical. I was saying, you know, when you're resting your head on the chest afterwards, like, oh, this is nice. That was quite sweet. That wasn't pervy. It wasn't like... Uh, like like, you've got your cheek pressed against the cum on the stomach. So, insight into Mike's world there. Um, do we have a, do we have another answer or of a more medical nature? I don't leave it on the stomach, do I, sir? Um, stethoscope. It, yes, that is right. Um, what do we do now? Oh, history and religion. History. Oh, that's very... Ooh. Who led the Quit India movement, which began in 1942 against British rule in India? That would be Mahatma Gandhi. That would indeed. That was that little man, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. Little man in that a... Little in, man. Little man in... in um, <laughs> yes, with a stick. Um, he got in trouble because he, he, he uh, made salt. 
He made salt? Yeah, so he went to the, the seaside and he, he basically took the water and evaporated out to make salt. And at that point in time, it was illegal to do that without a license. To make salt? Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want, I don't want to know anymore. Um, okay, yeah. sports and pastimes. <laughs> that was time. history. That's great. Um, which property buying board game was invented in 1935 by Charles Darrow and marketed by the Parker Brothers? Ludo. No, you silly boy. Monopoly. Also, not going to get another go. No. No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, let's go to science and invention. In 2008, Australian schoolboy Rory Stokes showed what animal... Oh, <laughs> what? I'm going to have to read that. That's say, a lot of read words. Read that again, because I thought, what, what is he showing to an animal? I know. In 2008, Australian schoolboy Rory Stokes showed what that... Why are there so many words on this? <laughs> Rory Stokes showed that what animal actually had a memory span longer than three seconds? So in 2008, Australian schoolboy school Rory, Rory Stokes, Stokes showed that what, what animal, animal actually had a memory span longer than three seconds. Okay. That looked like it was a tough question to ask, Lee. There was a lot of words. A lot of that. words there and it took the toll. Um, Memory more than three seconds, um, my ex. Yeah. Or a but fish. It's goldfish. Goldfish. Something gold. I learned about goldfish. Okay. If you let goldfish just breed in the same group all the time, within four or five generations, they're black. Wow. Sports and pastimes. Embroidery, tapestry, and sewing are all forms of which handicraft? That's enough of that for now. Stick around because I'm not letting you answer, I'm not letting, I'm not answering that question. Stick around because coming up next we have crafty, I mean crappy queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now it's time to consider self-circumcision with a rusty spoon as we go over to crafty queens. Silly boy, that's next week's activity, not this week. Mike, do you like flowers? I can buy them myself, thank you very much. But do you like flowers, Mike? Do you like having them around the house? Yes and no. Yes and no. I, I like the idea of flowers. I hate the, the expense and the mess. They're very expensive, aren't they? Very expensive. Very expensive. Do you also like to wipe your bottom? No. No! No, I have a, well. a, a hose attachment for that. <laughs> well, do you know what we're going to do today, Mike? We're going to combine both elements. Flowers. And not wiping. And wiping your bum at the same time. Oh, okay. Uh, because I have trolled the internet. I think I've done everything now that is possibly crafty. But have I made flowers out of toilet roll? No. No. We're going to make them today, Mike. Oh, so. <laughs> And do you know what? How expensive is toilet roll nowadays? Might as well have bought a bunch of roses and shoved them up. The, the, the price of the toilet roll. Oh, that's not going to be nice to experience. Roses will be Well, yeah. maybe a daisy. Gerber. Mm -hmm. Baby's breath. <laughs> <laughs> so, in front of you, you have, you have a, a peach-hued toilet roll and uh -huh. a white-hued toilet roll. I do. What I would like you to do is to to um, to tear off a, a, a length of length. Um, whichever colour you choose. Let's we'll start with the peach. Um, I'm going to go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight segments long. So I've got a length of seven. Seven. Well, I asked for eight, but that's fine. We'll work with that. Um, and one side of the um, so one end of your toilet rolls. Uh -huh. What I want you to kind of Fold the upper corner over a little bit. Okay. Yes. And so it's kind of like got like a little foldy bit, a foldy bit. And then what you're gonna do is um, put your thumb and finger on the corner of the foldy bit. Uh huh. Yeah. And then you're gonna twist the the paper at the top, the edge. Like your. Oh, that didn't work. Um, 
crimping it. I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> Crimp it. And then do it the other way. So you're kind of like getting... It's very cheap toilet paper, this. Um, so you're going one way, then the other. Do you get it? Do you, do you know what I'm doing? So I'm just doing that? Yeah. I'm making it look like it's been ravaged. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it all the way until... Oh, is this tear? Mine's tearing. Mine's okay. Did you buy tw Did you buy cheap? Buy twice. I bought. I stole this from the studio. Oh yeah, the toilet roll. We're not allowed the good toilet roll. I'm surprised it's not just bits of newspaper. Well, cut into. You should have said because I hide the good toilet roll. We hide the good toilet roll. When the gallery are in the studio, they they go through loo roll a lot. Um, so I hide the flavored stuff. Okay. So when you have have mangled the the edge of the. I mean, it might work. I'm not sure that. My edging has been suitably mangled. Okay, right. So go back to the to the edge that you folded over. Uh huh. And you're going to fold that over on it in on itself. Kind of make a little like a little foldy dooby thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what you're going to do is you're going to roll and twist the. Toilet roll. So you're twisting the bottom. Are you, are you doing it? Are you I, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing because all I can see is your hands. <laughs> there. Like a tube. Yeah, but you don't want it too tight because you want the toilet paper to create... So you, the bottom bit you want to be kind of like a stem. So a bit like a if I'm going to be rolling a, a it's gonna look like a spliff. An exotic cigarette. An exotic cigarette, sorry. I can already see mine is not going to work. Keep going, Mike, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Tell me when you finished rolling it up. Right, I'm done. Okay. Now on the um, <laughs> on the demonstration on on the clip, mm -hmm. you would tie off the the end bit with a rubber band, but they didn't have any rubber bands at the shop, so I've got paper clips. So just get a paper clip and just open it up till it's like long. Okay. And then round the bottom where the where it's kind of the straight bit, just tie it off. I've just put the paper clip round. To be fair. Okay. Now. <laughs> like that. Actually, yours. Yeah. Looks considerably better than mine. It couldn't look worse. So you kind of can kind of judge it a little bit. Get the, the, the foreskin back. Yeah, I've got more of a bud, more of a rose bud than an actual rose. Yeah. Okay. So then, what you do is you just repeat it again with a different colour. Let's see if this toilet paper is any, any, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not counting it again. Six, seven. I'm just going to go with seven. And I'm going to flip it over because this has got a pattern on it. So I'm going to have the pattern on the bottom with a peach. And so you repeat the thing, same thing, fold it over a little bit at the top. And then do your thingy me jig. Da, 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 da. Oh, this is better. This is more quality. Quality. I don't know whether I should tell you this. I've done this before. Have you? Yeah. Um, which is why mine look decent. What what occasion? What occasion huh? led you to do it, Mike? So, as you may or may not know, I work the majority of my life in a call centre. Yes. And we have challenges on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And one of them was to make a, a range of flowers from toilet roll. Oh, I'm very excited about my peach one. You're very excited about your peach. The pe I'm very Didn't excited about the peach one, one because I think this is going to look more like a rose than that cheap white stuff. No, it's not. 
You know, my white looks all right. Why is mine not doing it like it's supposed to? I don't know, mine's working fine. Might be a you thing. Can I give you a tip? Yeah. You know you're doing this weird intricate folding along the top. Yeah. Just screw it up. Start like that. All right, because then, and then when you're going, when you're, when you're rolling it down, yeah, on yeah. this end, once you've got a, once you've got it started, yeah, let it fold over a bit. Oh no! Look, that looks more. That looks more like a flower. Yeah. And so then you do the thing. Now, to be fair. Yeah. I think the more you do of these, the more more you would get the hang of them. Yeah. And the idea was is that you would make a number of them, like 20, 30. Oh yeah, pretty. That's what mine was supposed to look like. So you would like make loads of them, get yourself a lovely vase or a bowl, pop them all in, so it looks like you've got a bowl of roses. Yeah. And pop them in your toilet. And when you've got guests... It's going to go soggy if I pop them in my toilet. No, in, in your powder room on the side. In my drugs room. Um, you could have those, look, they would look lovely. And when you need a number two... Yeah. Which you just pluck one out. Don't be... We must remember to remove, remove the, the paper clip. Remove the paper clip, but that's very, very painful. And um, you can uh, wipe your starfish. It's great, isn't it? Choices. Choices. If you wanted to make them smell nice, you could just spritz a little bit of... Just use flavoured toilet roll. It's not flavoured, it's scented. Eat it. Maybe I do. Anyway, that's it for this week. You can't get any peen or any vagine. You're probably making toilet roll flowers. You, yeah, you probably sat at home ruining a decent toilet roll. Be a crafty, a crafty queen. It's nice, isn't it? Just add mine to yours to to no. to, uh, to kind of to boost your bouquet. Remove the quality. That's, that's I just pop that stain in a little bit. Oh, is that is that upsetting you? See, instantly that looks better. Oh, it does. Yes. Looks less like a a, a tampon. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, look. Oh, that's lovely. You could walk down the aisle with you them. You could. I mean, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You could. But you could. That's be. I think if anybody makes a, a substantial amount of those at home, displays them, send us a picture. So yeah, we could send someone to look after you. That's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember to join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcasts, search for Chewing The Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. 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 Thank you. You always do that. Because it's all. Wow. You insist on it.